Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the third Sunday in Lent here gives us an interesting little account in Luke's Gospel, Luke chapter 13. It's a short little uh, text this Sunday. And what we get to hear is uh, a crowd, a group of people come to Jesus and, and they want to elicit from Jesus a, a response of something that Pilate did. Pilate sent in his guards uh, probably into the temple, probably during uh, Passover at some point. Uh, and uh, slaughtered a bunch of Galilean Jews right there in the temple courts and mingled their blood with the blood of the sacrifices. And of course, this is a horrible uh, atrocity, and the, but the people wanted uh, Jesus to reference back to, to Pilate and talk about Pilate's sins, or maybe even the Galileans, uh, Galilean Jews' sins, although they kind of saw the Galilean Jews here as martyrs too. But whatever the case, they, they wanted Jesus to talk about those people's sins over there. And Jesus just stops, and he's not going to take the bait. And isn't that what we always want to do? We always want to talk about those sins over there, uh, that uh, they deserve God's judgment and wrath, but not me. Uh, let's talk about what uh, Rick and Sally did, but not what Eli did. And so Jesus, instead of talking about Pilate and saying, yes, Pilate must be condemned for this, or instead of talking about uh, the Galilean martyrs, uh, he says that this is a call to repentance. Goodness, that uh, we should take a, a look at a situation like this, an atrocity like this, and realize, uh, except for the grace of God, uh, that would happen to me too. So I should repent. I should recognize my sin, not be looking at my neighbor's sin all the time, but look at my sin. And then Jesus even goes one step further. Right, Because uh, then with, with Pilate, you could uh, point to Pilate and say, look, uh, something bad happened and he did it wrong. But then he talks about this tower that falls on, on a bunch of people, kills 18 of them, I believe. And Jesus says, now what about these people? Did they deserve to die? Were they worse sinners than any of you because this tower fell upon them? Certainly not. And that really takes a moment for us to kind of sit and contemplate this as well, that these tragedies happen all the time. We've got earthquakes and fires and tsunamis and, and all of these natural events that, that just happen and people just die and it's for no reason, no specific reason. But even this, Jesus is saying, is a, is a call for us to repent. Because even in these things, we see ourselves living in this fallen world where God's judgment and wrath sometimes does actually take place in a temporal way and people get hit by cars and fires ravage towns and little kids get cancer and we see that we live in this fallen broken world and that I too should repent even if these tragedies are happening to other people I should recognize that I'm a sinner too and this could happen to me tomorrow I must repent and that's what this whole season of Lent is all about it's this this time of repentance not that I'm doing anything and, and making myself better in the eyes of God, but I'm recognizing my sin and therefore the grace of God, there go I. But then thanks be to God that Jesus went to the cross, that he took all of those sins, took all of my sins that should deserve wrath and judgment and condemnation and death and eternal death, and he paid for them on the cross. So when we see tragedy, when we eat, maybe even see other people's sins, maybe we should take the time and recognize, yeah, I'm a sinner too, and I need Jesus. Thanks, thanks be to God that he's for me. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.